action on the new Stone County High School campus making headway. Lauren Martinez takes us out to the project site for a closer look at the Career Tech Center and what it will offer students in the future. The completion of the Career Technical and Education Center is just the beginning of a fresh start for Stone County High School. The 22,000 square foot facility is the first building finished on the new campus, located just off Highway 49. It's going to include teaching education classes. It's going to have uh, medical health classes. There's going to be a kitchen where the kids can learn how to be chef, sous chef, etc. And then the biggest classrooms are the welding shops. So it's very exciting for Stone County. Oricon Construction was awarded the $8 million project in June 2022. Lombardi says they reached substantial completion last week. We've had a couple change orders that added some scope to our project. A new project is beginning for four more classrooms that will finish out this building. So the architect is Eli Guide Hardy and that we are the general contractor, Orcon Construction. We had over 30 subcontractors help us build this building over the last year and a half. The next phase of the project will be the remainder of the million dollar campus, which includes a gym, a cafeteria and academic wing being built by another company. As far as Oricon, the current focus is chipping away at a punch list for the CTE building. A punch list entails uh, all the details that we may have missed or items that stand out because we just don't see them, like touching up paint here and there, rubber base that's bubbling out, a piece of tile that might be missing in a corner, things like that, just minor items. The final step of the Career Technical and Education Center is to test and provide training on its fire alarm, intercom, and automation systems. In Stone County, Lauren Martinez, WLOX News Now. The project manager says the remainder of the Stone County High School campus went out for bid last month. Next.